guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a very very highly requested one and I'm so happy that I can finally do it for you guys and that is my skincare routine so pretty much the reason why I have put this off for a while is because I wanted to make sure that my skincare routine was like 100% like you know what I mean? Like I was happy with everything. There wasn't anything I was kind of like iffy about. And I've been using these products, all of these products for a long time. And yeah, they've just, not only do they help keep my skin clear, but it also helps my skin keep hydrated. And yeah, a lot of people just really, really want to know what products I use on my skin, how I use them, when I use them. So I'm finally going to be showing you guys everything. Yeah. So anyway, let's get straight onto it. So in the morning, the first thing I do is when I get up, I wash my face with the Lush Let the Good Times Roll Facial Cleanser. This smells absolutely amazing and it is great for dry skin. It leaves my skin feeling so plump and moisturized. I don't know what it is, but it is an absolute gem and I absolutely love this cleanser. I don't know what else to say about it. It was probably literally like my favorite cleanser that I've ever, ever, ever used. And yeah, all I do is I put a little bit on my hand, lather it up and then just wash my face. And it's a little bit coarse as well. So it gives you a little bit of an exfoliation at the same time, but it's very, very gentle. And yeah, it just makes my skin feel amazing. After that, I follow up with the Trilogy Rosehip Oil. I love rosehip oil. My skin loves it. It is amazing at not only keeping your skin moisturized, but also it's really good for acne scarring and all that stuff. So this stuff is my little baby. I go through rosehip oil like nothing else. And yeah, I just apply that on my skin right after I cleanse it. So yeah, I use this instead of a serum, you could say. I then apply my eye cream and my under eyes can get quite dry. And I really, really love the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. This is super, super hydrating. I don't really have dark circles or anything like that. So I don't need a like dark circle correcting one or anything like that. I just need something really, really moisturizing to just keep that under eye moisturized. Otherwise my concealer can crease under there. So this one does an amazing, amazing job of it. You only need the tiniest little amount and it like the tiniest amount goes a long way. This isn't, you know, it's not the cheapest stuff you can get, but this little thing lasts you forever. So it's definitely, definitely worth the investment. And I just love this eye cream to bits. Last but not least, I apply my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This is the intense hydration one for dry skin types. This is my baby. You guys have heard me talk about this a few times now, and I don't even know what to say besides I absolutely love this and it is the best moisturizer I've ever tried. If you have dry skin, you need to try this. It is literally like my skin just gets like a drink when I put it on. And yeah, that's all I do for my morning skincare. It is really, really simple. It's just four steps and it works for me amazingly and for my dry skin. So now let's move on to what I do at night. So at night time, when I wash my makeup off, it really depends on how much makeup I have on. If I have been out or like if I've like gone clubbing or something like that and I have like dramatic makeup or I have done some filming that day and I've got like a lot of eye makeup and stuff like that. Um, I like to first go and remove my eye makeup with either the simple Kind to Skin Micellar Cleansing Water or the Micellar Facial Wipes. These are awesome. These are like my favorite face wipes ever. And that's a really good saying for me because I really don't like face wipes. So these are amazing. They're really, really moist and they don't dry out your skin or burn your eyes. I absolutely love these. I always take these with me traveling because they're nice and easy. But yeah, I either use these or the cleansing water to remove like my eye makeup. But that's only if I've got really heavy eye makeup on um, or a lot of foundation or anything like that. But on a general daily basis, I go in with my Sukin Foaming Facial Cleanser. And this one is just perfect. It's gentle and it just really, all I do is lather it all over my face and it just gets rid of majority of my makeup. And I can't complain. It does what it's meant to do and it makes my skin feel good. The next step is something that I do to give my skin a bit of a deeper clean because the first cleanser gets rid of most of my makeup, but not all of it. 
and what I really like to do is really give my skin a deep cleanse and I've really found that it's helped improve my skin texture and it really helps when you've got pimples and stuff as well because it really gives it a deep clean. So I have been using this Vanity Planet Ultimate Skin Spa System for a while now, a while now and I absolutely love it. I love that it comes with you've got like your three different brush heads in there my favorite one is this one here it's like a rubbery sort of brush and i don't know it just feels really really nice on my skin and it's really good and sanitary especially if you've got acne you don't want to spread bacteria but it also comes with these sort of heads as well so you've got like these original heads one's a bit softer and one's a bit coarser so i do really like those as well but as i said this one's my favorite and when you turn it on it just rotates and you've got two different speeds and it's still wet from this morning Oops. <laughs> but yeah, I've been absolutely loving this and the way it makes my skin feel. If you don't have a facial cleansing brush in your routine, you have to get one. It will literally change your skin game forever. I'm telling you, once you try one of these, you will never go back. Anyway, I have actually really got a really, really awesome discount code for you guys if you are interested in purchasing one of these Vanity Planet Ultimate Skin Pups spa skin spa systems so the original price of this kit is 125 us dollars so that is really pricey i don't expect anyone to go out and buy a brush for this much money but you can use the code nelly if you click on the link below and use the code nelly um you can actually receive 70 percent off like that is a crazy discount and it is yeah that is like crazy crazy cheap 70% off um, so it only goes down to 38 US dollars like that is that is nearly free that is cheap as chips I have a Clarisonic and that costs me $250 Australian yes <laughs> and this is just taken over its place because it is amazing but anyway I will leave a link down below if you are interested in checking this out and I'll link all the info down the bottom as well. But yeah, it is definitely something worth checking out if you've been looking for something to add into your skincare routine because these brushes have literally like changed my skin game. And it's really, it's kind of gross because you take all your makeup up with your cleanser or your face wipes or whatever and you think, oh yeah, my skin's clean. And you go over with this and you see all makeup like coming off still on the brush and it's like wow I did not know that was still there so it actually gets rid of every single little bit of makeup so I'll leave all the info in the description box if you are interested but if I were you I'll definitely um take advantage of that 70% off code because that is freaking bomb like whenever do you come across 70% off something these days Anyway, I've been absolutely loving using this with the Burt's Bees Intense Hydration Cream Cleanser. I find with most cleansers, they tend to leave my skin feeling really, really dry. And because I'm so dry, I hate that. But these two are a match made in heaven. This leaves my skin feeling so, so soft and supple. And I absolutely love these two together. This doesn't foam up either, so I like that. I hate when it really foams up and then it gets everywhere. But this just stays nice and creamy and it really just helps keep my skin hydrated and it just cleans every little bit of makeup off. I don't do this step every day, but I'll probably do it every second day. I go in with the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Daily Exfoliating Pads. These are quite pricey for this little tub, but there are 60 pads in there and I always see them on special, so you can grab them on special, I guess, um, if you are interested. But like, I don't know what it is about these, but they are just, they are just incredible. They exfoliate my skin. So they're like these little pads and they just exfoliate my skin so nicely. And I can really, ever since I've been using these, I can really tell a difference in my skin. It just glows and it's just the texture of it is so smooth. Like it really, really improves the general texture of your skin. So I would definitely look into these pads or just anything with the glycolic uh, acid in it because it really helps resurface your skin. So yeah, those are incredible and I use those after I've washed my face. Not every day because it can get a bit 
too much for my skin but about every second day now because those are quite strong and my skin is quite sensitive sometimes it'll feel like a tiny bit not irritated but it will feel a bit like I don't know you know what I mean like a bit raw <laughs> So I just like to go over that with this Avene Thermal Spring Water Spray. I don't do this all the time, but if my skin is feeling a little bit raw, then I just like to spray this over my face and it just calms it down and it makes it feel nice and just relaxed and fresh and it doesn't have that feeling anymore. So it's a nice product to keep handy if you are sensitive. Yeah. Last but not least is my baby. I honestly can say that coconut oil has changed my skin to the next level. I use this every single night. I put it all over my face. I put it like all in my eyelashes, my eyebrows. It helps my eyelashes grow so fast and my eyebrows grow really fast as well. Don't like that that much because then I have to like pluck them but anyway this honestly hydrates my skin it makes it feel so supple and nice and when I wake up it still feels incredibly moisturized I just love coconut oil because I just keep a whole tub in my drawer I use it as a body moisturizer I use it in my hair I use it to remove liquid lipstick and like waterproof eye makeup sometimes it is just incredible and honestly some people break out from coconut oil and I'm not sure why but for me, it just works a treat and I don't break out and it is just so gentle and natural and it's like the best thing for my skin. My skin just absolutely loves me when I put this on it. This would be like my number one skin secret, I reckon, because coconut oil is just, just life. Anyway, I thought I would just end this video on showing you three of my favorite face masks. And this is a skincare routine video and I don't use face masks on a daily basis. But like, you know, two times a week or so, if my, or if my skin's feeling a bit blemishy or blah, then I like to chuck on a face mask. So I just thought I would show you my top three favorite ones at the moment. So first up, I have this Cactus Skin Care Lemon and Lime White Clay Mask. This one has been a favorite for a long, long time. This is great if my skin is feeling really blemishy. Like if I've got a couple of pimples on my face or something like that, I just have blemished skin. Skin. This is just honestly a savior. I just pop that on. It helps calm it down. It just, it's just got the ingredients in it to work for pimples. I don't know what it is, but it's absolutely amazing. And yeah, I'll leave a link to this down below as well because they are an awesome, awesome company and they have some really nice stuff and it's all natural and I absolutely love that. So that's that one. Then I have this Swiss Manukani Detoxifying Facial Mask. So this is like a charcoal mask. So it's like gray like that. This, okay. This needs like a huge hype. I just need everybody to go out and buy this because this mask is amazing. I don't even know what it is about it. It is so like detoxifying, it literally sucks everything out of your skin. You pop it all over your face and you can see all your pores and you can see the oil getting sucked out. It is so gross but so satisfying and I don't know what this is but when you wash it off your skin doesn't get that tight feeling like with this my skin feels a bit tight because it's just drawn all the oils and all the gunk out but with this you almost have like a fresh layer of skin and it's so supple and moisturized. Like, I don't know what it is. It might be the Manuka honey in it, but this is amazing. And I've already seen uh, a few people sort of jump on the bandwagon of this. But if you have not tried this, like seriously, go to like Priceline or Chemist Warehouse, whatever. Go buy this right now. It's like, I got it for like $12 or something like that. Um, Swiss is always on sale. Go pick this up if you have like problem skin because this is just amazing. I can't. I... My third mask that I've been loving is this Manuka Doctor Purifying Facial Peel. I got this because I saw Shanik so using it and it, I don't know, she said it was good and it looked really good. And then, you know, it's really bloody expensive, but I got it on the Price Line Skincare Sale. I was like, why not? And I absolutely love this. It's not the kind of mask, like, with the other two, especially this one. Like, I would 
put this on like twice, three times a week, no worries. I wouldn't use this one that much because it does irritate my skin a tiny little bit when I do peel it off because I have so many like baby hairs that kind of like pulls the hairs out and it really, really hurts. But this is great to even just put in the T-zone or if you've got like some congested areas, you just put it on and you peel it off and it just comes straight out. I absolutely love it and it's great for blackheads as well because you can sort of use it as like a blackhead pore strip. Um, but yeah, this is just a really nice one, um, a nice peel of mask as well. So I absolutely love those three masks. If you were on the hunt for a new mask, then those three are my favorites that I've been using for a while now. So that is the end of my skincare routine video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. As I said, this was such a highly requested video. So I hope it was everything that you dreamed it would be and... Yeah, uh, that's all I have to say. I think if you have any questions for me, you can leave them in the comments below. I'd love to have a chat with you guys. I always love connecting you with you guys in the comments. I reply to everyone. And yeah, I think that's all. Yes, give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it because it sure does help me out. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.